Welcome to Conversations with Keller, a video podcast by the Greater Keller Chamber of Commerce. Find us on YouTube and every podcast platform so you can easily watch and listen along. For more information about joining the Chamber, visit www.kellerchamber.com. Hello and welcome to Conversations with Keller podcast. I'm Arlen Gold, your host today, and I'm with Community Impact News. I'm really excited about our host today. I am talking to Brian Dunn of Connections Wellness. Hi, Brian. Hi, how are you doing, Arlen? Thanks I'm, for having me today. I'm so good. Thank you for being here. Um, well, today I really want to talk about Connections Wellness, the industry, um, the kind of things that make you all unique. So let's get started. Let's Let's dive right in. You ready? Yeah, ready to do it. Fantastic. So kind of tell us a little bit about uh, Connections Wellness. So Connections Wellness Group started in 2018. And if you were to kind of paint a a general picture of it, we're kind of a one-stop outpatient mental health for children, adolescents, and adults, covering everything from substance abuse to eating disorders, mental health, and programs. So if you were to go on a map and look, we're going Keller, up to Denton, over to Rockwall, down to Mansfield. We're covering a lot of ground in between. So it started in 2018 up in Denton, and now we have 12 working clinics. That's amazing. You have quite a footprint in the DFW area. Yes, ma'am. And we really grew very fast uh, with a lot of that need coming up for mental health. It's been a success to being out in the community. Fantastic. What do you think really makes you and um, Connections Wellness unique in the industry? I think one of the things that makes us really special is when a person is coming into our system, into the program, it's a very seamless model, right? Someone can come in and if they're just coming in to get some medication from a doctor, let's say, but they would benefit from individual therapy, they can step right over that in the same clinic. And if they're needing even a higher level of care, some group therapy, that's also offered right there in the clinic. So you're not seeing clients have to jump all over the Metroplex. They can stay right in house to meet most of those needs. I love that. And then I know that you work a lot with um, adolescents, children. Um, Can you talk us through a little bit of how that works and um, how it works doing, you know, therapy and school and, and, you know, um, the, the semantics of that. Yes, that's right. So a lot of times families have that same question. That's a good question. They want to know when my kiddo signs up to go into group therapy, they need that. I don't want them to miss a beat with their education. So Connections Wellness has a solid program education that allows us to be accredited so that an individual can actually unenroll from their school, enroll with us and meet all of their educational needs and get their credits. If they also wanted to keep their kiddo in enrolled in their school and bring their work, let's say they're in AP classes, they can do that as well. So it's really up to the family what they want to do. That's amazing. So you can really do a lot of healing without, you know, missing a beat when it comes to school and family life. That's right. Yeah, that's so great. What do you think is something that you wish, you know, more people knew about, you know, the industry in general or Connections Wellness in particular, or maybe a common misconception? Yeah, I think one of the misconceptions is when we, the people that are staffing it, the clinicians ourselves, you think if you're working for a mental health place, people often ask, they must take really good care of y'all. Mm. And you mu- they must care about your mental health. And that's really not always the case in our field of work. But with Connections Wellness, it really is. One of the things that Austin Gregg and his partners designed was a culture of taking care of the employees and and valuing our self-care so that we can provide good client care. That makes us very special and unique. Yeah, because if you aren't feeling good yourself, how are you gonna help other people? That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm sure you have to deal with, you know, some some unpleasant aspects of life and um, maybe some some things that aren't um, always super fun, but I think that there's gotta be some levity and and some fun times that you all have. And I think that you've got um, kind of a funny story for us, don't you? Yeah. So one of the nice opportunities being part of Keller Chamber is that I've gotten to do some PR opportunities. And so I was driving through uh, traffic. I'm not always the most patient and I get very dysregulated <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. around other people. I like, like, I like yes, this come term. on in. You can come in front of me. And are you going to let me in? And 
just all the things that come with trying to get around as a marketer. Right. Um, driving a lot, right? Yes, I like and to I, call it the car fest. We all oh, work from our, like from our car fest. Yes, car yes. Fest. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and so being in that setting and feeling really out of it one day, and then I get home to my email and see it, that I'm going to be given an opportunity to speak on road rage. <laughs> and I just kind of thought, really, is this really happening right now? I'm, I'm, I'm the guy that they're going to go to for this. And I feel a little bit like some conviction. And I also felt like that's just funny. Yeah, I love right? that. That's a little yeah. um, pot calling the kettle black, yeah. um, so, so to speak. And I have some things to learn. I'm going to start using that when I'm driving. I'm just feeling a little dysregulated that's right. right now. Yes, <laughs> that's perfect. Right. Coping skills. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. perfect, perfect. And you, you know, I met you through um, the Keller Chamber and that's you right. and Connections Wellness have been really involved. Um, what are some of the ways that you think that, you know, the Keller Chamber has really impacted um, your role or or, or the business as a whole. Yeah, I, I have really enjoyed meeting all kinds of business owners and people that are working in the community, wonderful people that really have their own story and their own life. And so being able to be a resource for the people I'm meeting in the chamber that need resources and also them connecting me to friends and family, that's been really great. A lot of, a lot of uh, uh, benefits from that. The other thing is just, um, I think, some of the opportunities to get the word out in the community through some of these PR connections have been great for connections, great for some goals that I set for myself. So I've, I've, been loved, I've loved it. Awesome. Well, we're very happy to have you. Um, and you recently, or not so recently, correct me if I'm wrong, moved to the Keller area, correct? I actually don't live in the Keller area, okay. but our program, yes, Ke yes. Com uh, Connections Wellness Group opened a kiddos clinic on North Beach and Heritage Trace. Fantastic. This so I like to up. call that area Fort Keller. Okay. Okay. That's right. It's right <laughs> yes. on that edge, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But within Keller ISD, super, super close. That's right. Um, but you do a lot with the Keller community. Are there any favorite spots um, when you um, find yourself, you know, around, around yeah. town? Yeah. No, I think one of the places I've grown to love is Mangoes. We have, we have those wonderful yes. breakfasts. And they just kill it every time with great food, don't they? No, yeah, it is. I love their coffee. Yeah. They have really good. great coffee. Very consistent. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. That's a great spot. That's a great spot on Main Street. Um, and, you know, want to leave on on a high note um, okay. here. We're wrapping up. And, you know, what do you think if somebody's maybe themselves, you know, struggling with some mental health issues or seeing some things in their kids that, you know, just... Um, concerns them a little bit, what, what's your one piece of advice or, or two pieces of advice um, that you may have and, and for kind of identifying how to get the help that, that you need? Yes. Okay. So I think it's really important that we're seeing a nice trend of people talking more about this. This is one of the benefits Absolutely. of and some of the better things that have come from what we're seeing on the negative side of the news, but it is generating people to talk more. And as a result, sometimes the numbers seem like they're going up. Boy, there's more people checking in with anxiety mm -hmm. and depression. Or is it that we're finally talking about it more and people are coming out to, to say, I actually have an issue and something I could use some help because that stigma is coming down. That's one of the missions of Connections Wellness Group started by Austin Gregg. He just wanted to bring down the stigma and begin being a pioneer really to say, let's get that out of the way and just realize that a lot of us are dealing with things that we could benefit with talking with someone. So it starts in the home and people talking to their kids and finding out, doing those check-ins in the morning and after school or with loved ones, being a support to each other and finding out, hey, I have a list of resources and places that we can address some of this. We're not gonna ignore it. We're gonna, we're gonna celebrate that we can talk about it and be open as a family about it. That's gonna really get the ball rolling towards people getting help that they need. And there's plenty of resources uh, with therapists and, and even beyond what we offer, where people can get plugged in and help. Thank you so much. You know, something that I always, um, that I had heard one time that I love is, you know, shame dies in the light. And once you're able to get things out in the open, you know, it's yes, it's a lot easier, a lot easier to deal to deal with them. So thank you so much, Brian. Um, once again, Brian is with uh, Connections Wellness, um, which is a mental health um, clinic and practice in Heritage Trace, on Heritage Trace um, in the Keller area, and then with other locations um, throughout DFW. So thank right. you again, Brian. It was such a pleasure talking to you. 